Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brad Fusion here, and welcome to Mountain Blade Warband. Now, the other day I did do a fusion reactor on Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. However, I've been told that Warband is a lot better than Fire and Sword. Uh, even when searching both games, a lot of people recommend playing Warband instead, mainly because it seems to have a lot more features and even runs on a different engine than what with Fire and Sword runs on. So after doing my fusion reactor the other day on with Fire and Sword, I thought I'd do a little bit of a mini series on Warband because I really do kind of like this series. Uh, you start off with a character who then has to go around gathering up troops to eventually form an army to then take over part of this world that your character lives in and I think that's a really really great story and I wish a lot of more RPGs actually do that because in a lot of games it's normally just your character who's apparently a hero or grows up to be a certain hero but you don't really have very much influence on the world and I, I like games that do that even in say games like Skyrim or Oblivion even though you will claim to be the hero at the end of the game the world has very very minimally changed since the start of the game and it's like you've made little impact on the world itself so but in this game you can take over towns and uh, slaughter people and I guess there's something behind that that I think I like a little bit more than other RPGs so I think I'm gonna really get into this game but I think I'm gonna stick to doing a mini series instead of dragging it out for too long so I have done the tutorial for Warband and I'm gonna be creating character soon I'll probably just skip a lot of the introduction and just jump to when I'm actually in the game. However, I thought I would show you guys a little bit of the introduction first, up to the character development for anyone who hasn't seen it, and then like I said, I'll jump into the in-game. So let's go start a new game here. Now, I won't read any of this stuff out, I read it in the previous video I did, uh, as I was kind of like doing a test recording, so my voice is still a little bit, a bit sore from reading out all the dialogue, but you're more than welcome to pause the video at any point to read whatever dialogue you wish to read, then continue the video, obviously. So let's kind of go continue here, and we're going to be a male character. So this is kind of the um, introduction to making your character or giving him his base stats. Uh, other games have done that, kind of like uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, I think, does that at the start. It'll ask you a few questions, kind of like doing the uh, test at the start of the game, that kind of determines what skills you get later on, or what skill points you have. Uh, so right now, I can choose to be a nobleman, merchant, warrior, hunter, uh, nomad, or a thief. So I'm going to set all this up. I'm going to go hunter here. Uh, like I said, you guys can pause if you need to read that, but I already know what I'm going to go with. So apprentice a smith, a wanderlust, and become an adventurer. Uh, so what will the game's saving policy be? Allow me to... actually, we'll go realistic. No quitting without saving. There we go. So now we can type in the character's name and choose what skills we have. But like I said, because of the questions we just did beforehand, uh, it's given me kind of these base stats here as well. So with my things, I've got higher pathfinding. I have high trade, high uh, engineering, because my character was a smith. Uh, so all this stuff kind of makes sense. So I'm going to now spend all these points here, and then the next screen will be character creation. So we'll go uh, 1 to agility, uh, intelligence up a little bit here, and then charisma. I think that's what I'm going to go with here. Now the one thing I do hate about this, and with Fire and Sword did the same thing as well, there's no minus button. So if you make a mistake over here, for example, after going through all these trees, you have to click reset changes and go through the whole thing all over again. So be very sure with where you're putting your points. So I'm going to go with uh, riding here. Uh, let's, let's start with the bottom because persuasion I think I'll need a higher skill of. We're going to go with wound treatment here. Party healing is increased. Surgery. 4% chance that... Uh, one where mortally struck will be wounded rather than killed. I don't think I'm going to worry about that just yet. Uh, tactics. I don't think I'm going to worry about that much either. I think I can increase these skills over time as well. So it's not like if I don't uh, slot into it now, it won't affect me later on. Um, go, tra go trainer actually, so other people can be stronger around me. Uh, what else am I going to go? Maybe weapon master. I have three points, so uh, Iron Flesh increases hit points by two. 
There's quite a few changes, quite a few options here, sorry. Um, every point increases the maximum number of troops you can command by five. Recruits troop wages. That would be a nice one to go into. Prisoner management. I don't know if I'll ever take prisons. It seems like such a weird thing to do. But who knows, maybe it's a thing. A hero regain health. That's what I want as well. Um, surgery, I'm not going to worry about that. Wound treatment, already got a point in. Inventory management, no, not my thing either. Sporting, that's, in, that's the range that I'll see things on the overworld map, uh, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, tracking, not really necessary. Looting, increased amount of loot obtained. Horse archery, I don't think that matters much when I'm going to be using a crossbow, so... I uh, will go with, um, we'll go with looting. So there we go, now I can uh, put points in this. Obviously my archery is really quite high, because my character is a hunter, so. I'll increase the uh, one-handed weapon as well. I'll also go up with uh, crossbows, actually, because that's what I really want to go in. Because my character will be using crossbows a lot. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's go crossbows. So there we go, our character is good at uh, one-handed archery. And I'm trying to get crossbows up. So that's that's it. That's done. Let's type in our character's name. So we're going to go with... What name should we go with? Um, I have to think of a name, actually. I'm not going to use my own name because that's just silly. Um, hmm. Okay, so I decided to use a random name generator, actually. And I got Nathaniel Wyvern. Which I think sounds kind of cool, actually. So we're going to be of the Wyvern family. So let's begin. Now we have the character creation screen, uh, which gives you some hilarious results. So let, let's go randomized here. Oh god. Let's <laughs> uh, welcome back, Keanu Reeves. Uh, oh, okay, cranky. Um, we'll go with a. Let's, let's see what let's see what character we can come up with. Um, obviously, there's different beards and facial hair as well if that's your style. Uh, that actually looks kind of cool. Actually, I don't really mind that. Change the beard up a little bit, though. Um, not one for the beard. Hmm. Well, my guy is. Uh, well, actually, I don't. I don't know what. Like, what? What? I, I don't know anything about my character other than is a hunter. So, um, I guess he's got to look huntery, right? So, I, I think the ponytail is kind of hunter-like, but he needs a. He needs a hairstyle that suits. I think that actually kind of suits him. To be quite honest, uh, we'll go, yeah, we, we've got brownishy, what colour can that go up to, that goes up to there, so, yeah, there we go, so there is, um, Nathaniel Wyvern, so, let's go, done, okay, you hear about, uh, blah, 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 so basically, this is where I choose to start off in the world, uh, so let's go to, let's take a ship to Sagoth, let's go with the Nords here, so, continue, you're exhausted, uh, you find an inn, you wake up before dawn, and you hear the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Ooh, what does that mean? Let's go in and see. Oh, that's actually... There's someone... Is it? Oh, God, you bastard! How dare you! Why is he attacking me? Why is there someone attacking me? Seriously. Oh. You bastard. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to use sword here. You... You... Bastard. Okay, so... <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want to die, like, before I even get a chance to do anything here. Delivered zero damage? Really? Zero damage? Oh, did I get him? Ha ha! I defeated you! Oh no, another one? Really? Really? Oh wait, merchant? No, no, I don't want to attack the merchant then. You're right, yes, you're alive. Oh, cool! Okay, so it was a merchant. Oh, I was almost about to attack him then. Ah, uh, let's go inside then. Like I said, you guys can pause at any time if you need to read what they're saying. I basically am skimming over it, so I know what they're saying. Uh, I like to talk to the merchant. Hello! Oh, he was, that was a slow, dramatic turn then. Jesus, like, dun dun dun. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Click to view notes. Ah, so I can build up notes about all these characters. So that's kind of cool. Return. So let, let me explain his proposition. Okay. 
Regard the hill, but the bandits, they took his brother, okay. But I don't care to pay for the ransom that they want, so here's a proposition. Uh, track them down. So, gather a small party, track them down, teach them a lesson, get his brother back to safety. Well, sure, I'll do that, I'll be alright. Uh, okay, so yeah, hire pe I have to hire people. First, I want to round up a group of volunteers. Always a few lads. Take the purse of 100 dinner. Consider it an advance on your reward. Go around villages and hire some help. I reckon you'll need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good. And there is Nathaniel Wyvern. Looks pretty good in this lighting, actually. Uh, so, there we go. Meet him in the tavern once I got the group together. Great. So, I can press Q to view the quest, obviously, so I can click over here, collect five men, uh, if I click on it properly. There we go. So, that, that's cool. So, let's go back here. So, if, if I go third person, you guys can see my character. It looks pretty, pretty, uh, scruffy, pretty cool. Press tab to leave. And now we're on the main map here. Now, this is the overworld for anyone who hasn't played this game or has no understanding of how this game plays. This is basically the world. This is kind of like an overview map that kind of Time is paused when my character is not moving, so right now I'm in here, and there's also another army apparently, uh, the King Reg uh, Regner's party, which contains 185 men. Uh, geez, sorry, actually they're garrisoned inside. Uh, how do I rotate the map? I think it's, um, no, it's right click actually. So I can actually view the map. So there I am, there's a deserters, they're patrolling, there is... Sea Raiders and more Sea Raiders. I'm definitely going to go away from that. I think I'm going to go over here away from all the trouble. So as I said, this is the Overland map. So once I start moving, you can see that all the other units start moving as well. So as long as I stay away from Raiders and Bandits, then I should be okay. Recruit volunteers? Four volunteers? Yeah, sure. Pay them. And uh, now, so this is the options we have for these towns here. So I can go to the village center and talk to anyone in the town. I can buy supplies from them, I can take hostile action, which means I can take over this town. Obviously, I'd, I'd need the people to do that, but I'd, I'd rather not right now. So let's let's leave. We've got four people in our army now. You guys can see that now. So we have five units, including myself. Uh, let's, let's stay away from where all those bandits are, and we will go... Uh, where's the closest place we can go? We can go to this castle here, but I don't think that has any people in it. Uh, castles usually contain royalty not that many other units we can actually utilize so let's uh let's keep it on my character so i don't run into any any bad people so here we are Vill village is flourishing fields are humming with activity okay so let's uh recruit two yes great that gives me six people that should be enough to do the quest actually so let's uh let's leave here obviously i can get quests from these guys as well but i don't really want to worry about doing that just yet so let's head back to Sigoth. We need to collect five men. We have six men. And if I go here, you can guys can see the party as well. So I have five, uh, sorry, I have six Nord recruits here, uh, which is quite, uh, quite awesome. I can just bear them and talk to them as well if I feel the need to. Who's that? That's ten deciders. I don't, I don't really want to worry. Uh, I don't really want to run into anyone uh, with such a small party right now. So uh, I'm just going to quickly do these quests now. Obviously I'm going to have to attack people. Uh, he said to go to the tavern, so let's go to the tavern and pay him a visit. Um, okay, this is the tavern. I guess it's him over here. Hello. Splendid work. You hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now travel entering Zagoth. Have told us there's a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of the town. I expect they are from the same band. One took my brother. Hunt them down, defeat them, and make them disclose the location of their land. Okay, sure. So now we have to, obviously, if I press Q, learn where the hostages is held. So, find and defeat a group of bandits lurking near Sagoth. Pretty, pretty basic. So, let's go tab here. We'll leave, and we'll try to find these bandits that apparently are lurking around. Bandit robbers! Well, that's easy enough. That's exactly what I was looking for. Let's go here. Let's pay them a visit. What do you want? They've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners. Prison only go through when you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. Well, okay then. Uh, seven troops to fit against their four. So let's go charge the enemy, and let's let's claim victory here. So here is a fight. Obviously, there's the units I've recruited. I've got myself a horse. We have a ne was that a negative battle advantage on these guys? 
Okay, let me go first person because this is a lot easier for me to do combat upon when I'm in first person. So there's the guys down there. Let's see if I can actually do a decent shot. Let's uh, that was way off. <laughs> uh, at least I have 30 30 bolts. So uh, let me see if I can charge the uh F1. Let's go F3 charge. I'll see if I can just get them to uh charge at the unit other units here. Oh, there's some right there. Oh, how did that miss? How did that so miss? That shouldn't have missed. They, they've got throwing weapons as well, which uh, doesn't seem to fare well for my character here. Okay, you're going to have to die that way. I am doing this so terribly, just so you know. That's uh, I've received damage? I thought I was dealing damage. Hang on, can I... No, I'm going to stay on the horse here. I, I know I'm pretty terrible at combat, just for anyone wondering... <laughs> Uh, if did, we, did we win? I didn't do anything. I'm sorry. I thought my crossbow accuracy would be a lot better than what it was. Uh, better one, press tab key to leave. So, um, we lost no casualties, actually. N apparently none of our units were hurt in any real way. Uh, we killed three looters, one wounded robber, so we can actually interrogate him. I spare my life, spare my life. <laughs> Let me go and find uh, that last trade and have here with me again. The exchange I want information. Uh, we were keeping him in a hideout near Ambien. I'll describe the area nearby in detail so there's no mistaking it. Okay, so this is all the loot we get. Uh, we got from the uh, battle that we just had. So I can obviously take it and sell all, all my 14 leather. My guy's got some decent armor on. I think it's because my guy was a craftsman. Ah, uh, that is that's quite nice. Actually, 22. That's 11. Hmm. Things like that, but then hang on, that's eleven and six. That seems like it'd be better, but doesn't deal any uh, leg protection. But I guess I have that for that. Uh, we'll put this up here as well. Obviously, we can just sell all of the stuff as it is. I can shift click as well to kind of bring that over. Um, what was the other thing that I had? The rusty, this this sort here. Uh, requires strength of eight. It doesn't seem like it's much better than what I currently have. 31, uh, no, it seems like my other sword's a little bit better, uh, but what I can do is I can stick on this, this, I want to stick this on because it's got more armor, it uh, definitely has a lot more armor, so I'll stick that on, there we go, so now we can return, and now we can head towards the, uh, town where the guy is kept, and being up here, this is Kidnapper's hideout, so we'll go over to, oh, I should have seen that. I was just looking back to where my character was and I saw it there. Not afraid of you. Seven troops against the 13. Oh, this is going to be terrible. So this is where I only have a few choices. I can challenge them with my lack of units and hope that I can outnumber them. Or not outnumber them. I hope that my units are strong enough to take them down. I can order the troops to attack uh, and I can try to flee myself. I can pull back, give me a chance to run away, but I leave my soldiers to attack there, at least some of them. Or I can just simply surrender. I don't want to die this early on, though. I haven't done anything yet. Um, I want to pull back so I can live, but I don't want to sacrifice my units either, because I'm not that sort of... Okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> As the party member with the highest tactic skill won, you devise a plan to allow you to, your men to escape. But you'll have to leave one soldier behind to stop the enemy. Ah, uh, god damn it. Okay. Party loses 20 morale. I'm sorry. That's so bad of me. I hate having to do that. <laughs> they took one of them prisoner. God damn it. Okay. We'll have to... They're not going to chase me off, are they? Okay, good. I can actually go over to the Ambien now. Uh, how's my character going to do that? He's going to go over here. Oh, that sucks. I wasn't... Hang on, village farmers? Oh, I didn't see them go until the last second. Training field. Why is there a training field just randomly right there? That's a little bit odd. Um, Did I go to Vierge? I don't think I did go there. Um, I don't know. I'm going to worry about all the text on the bottom. That's irrelevant to me. Weekly budget. Uh, okay, yeah, we lose... A little bit of money. Also, by the way, if I go to my party screen here, you'll actually see... Where is it? The morale is high, but it's not very high. 
uh, which is what it should be. I'm going to go here and hopefully get some more recruits before going to this kidnapper's hideout, because I'm expecting more people to be there. So that's that's why I'm going here first. Uh, recruit? No one sees... Oh, God damn it. Um, okay, we'll leave. We'll go and attack and see what happens. Um, you approach the hideout. Looters don't appear to have spotted you yet. You can sneak away unnoticed. Difficult approach to the site. We can either attack or leave. Hang on. Uh, if you initial attack fails, lose or even... Okay, hang on. Let's let's attack. Let's try to narrow it down. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, how many units do they have? Oh God. I wanna I wanna make. Oh, there's so many. He said to wait. No, he said. Didn't he say to go? Oh, hang on. There they are. I am so terrible with this crossbow, seriously. I should be so much more accurate with it, but I'm not. Oh! Did I get it? Oh, I got someone! Obviously, I didn't kill them. Oh! You bastard! Okay, let's go swords. Swords here for glory! For glory! Yes! Glory! And slash. <laughs> oh, yes, we are. Oh, there's still guys over there. Charge! Why are you guys so much faster than I am? Okay, let's uh, let's get the crossbow. I can't reload and run with the crossbow. That is the one problem with the crossbow, so I have to actually be stationary. Hang on, I can tell my units are uh, movements. Hang on, F1. F2, follow me. No, they're not going to follow me. No, they're, they're busy attacking. So let me have let me take this chance to reload here, uh, and quickly. He's running out to the. Oh, I don't think he's fleeing. No, he's not. He's not fleeing. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, here we go. And you did. Are we good? Are we good? Yeah, we're all good. I don't think we've taken any casualties yet. There's still the one guy over here. Charge! <laughs> oh, oh no! Don't get hurt! Don't get hurt! No, let's let's not charge up just yet. And slash and slash. Oh, uh, oh, that's Merchant's brother. Oh, I almost attacked him. Ah, uh, okay, great. We got we got the guy. We saved him. Uh, Looters fall off one by one of your determined attack. The hideout your gun gains is now mine. Oh my. God, there is so much stuff here. I am so taking this. That's no. Oh no, I'm gonna take the nomad armor. I'm not gonna worry about the ragged one. I can sell it though. Uh, Eleven to fourteen. That's not gonna bother me much to equip it. So I'm just gonna take it here. These swords are not much better than mine. I can't stack all items. Obviously, I can only take certain things. Um. Butchering knife. Oh, so obviously I'll take things that are worth selling. Uh, I don't think these are. Oh no, these, these are worth selling. These things aren't though. Uh, rawhide cloak. No, 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 you're not. What's this? Wool cap. Six to head arm. I don't actually have a cap on, so I'll take it. Uh, was that ragged? No, that was that was a good one. Okay, and the rocks obviously aren't worth, aren't worth taking at all. Um... What else can I take? I can actually take... Oh, I can take quite a bit still. Uh, so I'll take the cloths here, because these are the worth uh, worth the most, I think. Oh no, so there's this sword as well. Uh, 11, 11, 12. I think this is organised by price, or at least so it seems anyways. Uh, like I said, we'll take a lot of the stuff with us and we'll sell them all. Um, just because it, it, it'll give us a little bit of cash, as it is. So yeah, I can only take so much stuff, and I think that is... a. Uh, that, I'm, I'm not going to take any of this, because that's $1, that's so not really worth it. So, now with victory, we will head back to Sagoth. Hopefully acquire a little bit of money. Nope, 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 hang on, how many is that? Is it, it's 7, no, 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 we're not going to attack. Definitely not going to think about it. We can go here, you can go to this town, see what these guys have. 
Uh, they might have some people want to join us, maybe. But uh, that was a good battle. I like how that battle turned out. We didn't get hurt at all. We were quite good. Recruit volunteers. Three nodes want to follow. Yes, sure. Three people. The more, the merrier. Let's go to buy supplies. And like I said, we can sell a lot of the stuff that we've gathered that we don't actually need. So this, for example, if we go... How much money do they have no money? Oh, you guys don't have any money? Really? We get food to increase party morale. I have only 160 right now. That's four, four, five, four. Uh, the cheaper stuff would be the better stuff to buy. Uh, the cheese. I think that'll help me out a little bit. That'll give them some money. I can just uh, sell this for that, that. That, 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 that. That should give them... Hang on, if I do that. Go buy supplies. You have 50 coin. Sweet. Okay. So I can obviously sell some of the stuff that I don't actually need. So... I'm not going to sell the tools, obviously. Oh, it's pointless selling that, that. So that should be... Let's, I, I'm not good at calculating how much money. That's they have 37 left. So yes. Go you. Um, you, you. Is that... Because I don't want to sell the you, you, you 25. Uh... That's 14. 14. Do these have dura uh, durability? I don't think they do. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. 14. 10. That leaves them with one coin. Uh, in which case, do I have anything that sells for one? Don't think I do. I have cheese. So, um, yeah, one coin. You guys, you guys can hold on to all that for me. So we have a little bit of cash now. We almost made back exactly what we... Uh, so that's that's pretty good. Now that we're here, we'll start heading towards Sagoth, and we'll we'll hopefully pause if any any bad people. Hang on, is that a war? Oh, I thought that was a war going on. I just want to keep an eye on my character because I don't want to run into any battles that I don't have to run into. Uh, so as long as we stay away from the bad people, we should be okay. And we seem to be okay. Great, okay, great. Um, let's go visit the tavern and see if the guy can... Oh, my character looks so silly with that. Oh, come on, really? Drunk? What like the smoke of my... I didn't... Oh. He's gonna... Don't kill me here, please. I think once I get him... Uh, I was gonna say, once I get him into that stun lock... Let's it's not no shooting. He's attacking me. What do you want me to do? Uh, well, okay, at least I got him anyways. I'll have a drink on the house. Yeah, save the patient or two broken skull. Still hope he has a pulse. Okay, it's such a waste. God damn it. I lost half my health because I was attacking and I was looking at my damn character's beanie that he seems to be wearing. Um Everyone's crowded around here. I want to see what his face is. Oh, where is where is he? Well, the tavern keep there. The merchant talk. Not sure what uh what to do without him. Maybe pack him off to university. Uh, blah 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 blah. Here's your reward. I think he just gave me a whole bunch of money. That money. <laughs> well, thanks, Plank. Um, glad we're talking to you instead of Ned Nathaniel. Pardon me. Um, it's just making some more possibly. The bandits had an ally inside the wall. They you know the captain of the watch, no less. Some month ago, oh, are you just going to maybe take out the captain? Turn the poachers turn gamekeepers. Uh, okay, you could bring this to attention the king, the lord of the city. But that would mean uh, an inquiry. My word against captains. Witnesses can be bought. Evidence can be destroyed. Maybe the whole thing will be forgotten. Uh, we'll storm the captain's home, bring him and change, hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stacked up. Well, I need someone to lead my little army into battle. Can't think of anyone better. Well, I suppose it's... Uh... Okay. Mm, I guess... Been a long time since I stick so much on a single throw of dimes, frankly find it exhilarating. Uh 
Yes, I need. I, I definitely need to rest. I I can't without without all this health. I I don't have. I think I'd much rather we're here for some time. I think. Um, how much do I have? How much health do I have now? I don't know. Let's go leave. Let's party. How much health do I have? Seventy six. One more night should be okay. Oh, we have so much money. Damn, that's a lot of money. Uh, well, yeah, we'll stay here for a night. Camp. Um, wait here for some time. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait and um. Let's have waited long enough to get health. That's 91, we'll continue. Continue camping. Sorry, don't pause. Camp. We'll continue waiting, like I was doing before. Uh, I didn't think that would uh, stop camping once I go to the party screen. So, party. 100% uh, health, great. Okay, let's go, on, let's go inside here, and we'll do the uh, tavern quest. So, don't have any quests on me right now, obviously, because I didn't accept it. Uh, so, let's accept it then. Merchant. Yes, yes. Lead your men, give them the sign. May the captain's henchmen, may the heavens be with you. You lead the heaven to go outside the streets. Nervous looking young men are waiting in every street corner. You can see they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes. Catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride, and the quick looks are very easy to pass by. Praying that your enemies have not been alarmed by this all too obvious bunch of plotters. You check your weapons for the last time, prepare yourself for the actions ahead. Not action ahead, sorry. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> uh, it's time, lads. Up and at em. Oh, me? Really? Me? You bastard. I was not expecting that. I knew something was fishy, though. I could have sworn I should have been smart enough to tell that, though. You bastard. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're all dead now? No, we're charging one of them, apparently. Oh, that's so silly. Didn't expect that. I, I should have expected that, because I was kind of a bit iffy about it. It seemed a bit odd, but nonetheless, it was, um, oh, we're, we're good now. <laughs> Many few banners get off the town. I got an achievement, too. Get up, stand up. Okay, great. Um, I'm done with the English hands, but make sure your victory is complete, and... Would have been taken care of. The merchant review his uh review the day's event. Sorry. Um. Okay. So we're in the house now. Is that the merchant? Didn't the merchant just attack us? Why am I back inside his house? You can't ask for a better outcome than that. Unfortunately, about some of my lads got themselves wounded. So, oh well. Proud to have done my bit along with the rest. I thought. Didn't he just attack me? I thought he backstabbed me. Oh. Oh well. I guess I completely misread that story that just happened then. Um. Uh, glad you're alive too. Uh, well, I'm proud to have done my bit along with the rest. A couple of ways to watch Captain pin down in the background with a knife in his throat. Need need to go drag him, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully we'll meet again. Okay, mission done. Is that it? Yeah, that's mission done. Great. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to end this video here. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this series, see how my character progresses through this world, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone, and take care. Do I say it? Uh, uh, whatever. Y you guys know what I mean. I'll see you guys next time.